I am Charlene if you are new and welcome to my extra large family. So today I'm going to do my nails for you. This is a really simple, easy and a beginner friendly design. Literally you're just going to splash a bunch of colors together, take a brush and wiggle it all around and of course I'm going to use some foil. So. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. So, for these nails, I think they're really pretty for summer. I think they're just they're just fun to do and they're really simple and easy to do. So, for these nails, I just use these Venalisa gel polishes. These are a soak off uh, UV LED polishes. I got these actually from AliExpress. They had a sale. So, I think these were like a buck 25 or something like that. Yeah, really inexpensive. Um, I got just a few of them because I didn't know if they were going to be really good or not. But yeah, these are really good quality. They they have a really good coverage. So for buck twenty five, you just cannot go wrong with these. So I just put a bunch of these colors together. Each nail was different. And then I also used some nail foil. Uh, for that I used a foil glue. Everything that I usually get is from AliExpress.com or from eBay. And then I just used this uh, box of foils that I also got from AliExpress. I got another uh, long strip of foils, like a pack of five or six I believe, also from AliExpress. So that is that. And then I also used, um, for my top coat, I used the IBD um, Intenseal No Cleanse Top Coat. I, I got this off eBay for like $8. I think not, not even $8, like 7 something. So I really like it. It's a really thick top coat. So I use that to top off my nails. And also I use this Mia Secret Brush On Nail Gel Resin. It's a clear gel resin for my rhinestones. I'm still learning how to place my rhinestones. So I'm just playing around with them. And uh, I used this to put them on, and also I used a wax pencil, which I'll show you guys later on in the tutorial. And also, you guys will need like a dappen dish to put like your acetone or your rubbing alcohol and a and a brush. Well, I'll show you later on what you can use to clean up around your edges, so you get really nice, you know, so you get really nice nails, and they don't look um, they don't look sloppy because I'm using my non-dominant hand in this tutorial, so. I had to use that brush a lot to clean around so if you guys don't have these gel polishes what you guys can go and do is you can even go to the drugstore you go to a drugstore and uh, or Walmart Target get these sinful colors they have really pretty bright colors they have all kinds and then you can go to the Dollar Tree or family uh, family dollars I think that's what it's called and get these like alley colors um, these like striping striping colors so you can just splash a bunch of colors so if you want to follow along with me you can do that and these are super inexpensive I think these were only like a dollar or something these sinful colors and this was I think only a dollar and also a UV lamp so mine is from Miro Pure but I will link a much better one actually if this if I if I outgrow this one I'm going to use the one that's in the link that I'm going to post for you guys so with that said, we are going to go ahead and get started. This is a really easy, beginner-friendly tutorial. I hope you guys like it, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So lately what I've been doing is filing my nails before I paint them because I like that nice, sharp, crisp line on top. And then I usually just go in with a buffer and then buff the edges out so that they're not so sharp. I don't know. I've been doing it, and I really like how it looks, so... It looks really nice and neat. So here I'm just taking a small buffer and I'm just going to buff the sides of my nails as well as the, the free edge. And then once I'm done buffing, I'm just going to go ahead and take a lint-free wipe with some rubbing alcohol and take off all that nail dust because you definitely don't want any of that on your nail plate. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to take the color, well actually these are numbers, number 33. And then I'm going to mix it with some of this orange which is number 41. I got the bottles next to me so that way I can tell you guys what they are. So I'm basically just, I'm just putting some colors randomly real easy I mean use what of uh, what other colors that you like you know use that then I'm gonna go in with this really pretty hot pink this is actually number 42 and I'm gonna put that underneath 
wherever the spaces are, I'm gonna make sure I cover the entire nail bed. Then I go with this pretty green color and it's number 32. Yeah. And am I gonna take another one? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna take number, what is this, 37. 37, it's real pretty blue. And I kind of mixed it in with the other colors, so before you put it in the cap or in the bottle, make sure you just wipe it off a little bit. Now I'm just taking a brush. This is from Adoro, I believe. I think so. Any kind of synthetic brush will do to clean up my edges. And I did mess up a lot, so and that's why I'm using that brush. Now I'm taking a striping brush. You can actually get these from a craft store. You can go to Michael's, any craft store, and get these. Or you can order it online, eBay or AliExpress. And I'm just throwing in some lines in there, kind of just dragging the colors together. Not too much because then you don't want it to look like one brown muddy mess. So do it in different directions. And here I am taking that orange and I, I had some space left so I'm just going to make sure I get every single space on my nail and cover that up. And then I'm going to put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. So for this next nail, whew, sorry, I was yawning. I painted it the hot pink color first and then put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm just applying some foil glue. Just put on a thin coat. You do not want to put globs of this on. Make sure it dries completely. So as soon as it dried, I just took this rose gold foil and I'm going to do like an ombre with some gold and rose gold together and it came out really nice. I like it. So basically you're just going to take the back side not the front side of the foil and you're just going to kind of let just like dab it and then remove it dab it and then remove it because this stuff is really sticky you want to make sure you get every little bit of that foil on your nail otherwise you're going to have a sticky mess so then after that after i did that i took the gold foil and then i'm just going to place it on the rest of the nail and kind of blend it in with the rose gold i, I like the way it came out it came out really cute For my middle finger, I put some foil glue, so I'm just letting it dry. So I'm going to go on to my ring finger, and I'm just going to take some of this green again. Um, I will loath. I will, I will loath. I will list the numbers of uh, these polishes in the description box. So remember, you always open that because that's where all the info is. So here, I'm just going to mix some yellow, green, some hot pink, and I think did I throw in some orange? Yeah, I did throw in some orange. I'm just going to basically do the same thing, but I'm going to do the striping in like wiggly lines, you know, just kind of like make random lines and, you know, it turned out really cute. I like the way my nails came out, guys. And it's super easy. This is so easy, really. You don't need to be a pro to do this. I did get a bunch on the sides, so I'm going to make sure I clean that up with my brush and some acetone. And here I'm just making sure I get the sides because you don't want it to be bare. It's going to look kind of weird with color splashed everywhere and then these bald spots on your nails. <laughs> so yeah, make sure that you put your nail in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now, for the middle finger, I took some different colors. I took some green, some blue, some purple, and I took some gold. Just different colored foils and just... Um, Put them in random areas, really, so that way they can just all blend together. It looks very tropical, doesn't it? And for my pinky, I just took some hot pink, some blue, and some green, and a little bit of orange. Now I'm just taking some Mia Secret Gel Resin and some of my rhinestones, and I'm taking a wax pencil and kind of just like making a little short design with it. I'm still practicing, still not good at placing my stones yet. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep practicing and make sure I get better. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the nail design. So then I'm gonna go in with my top coat. 
Oh, actually, I sprayed this with some ASP um, gel resin activator. It's kind of like the Mia Secret one. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. So it allows the glue to dry faster, that gel resin to dry faster. Now I'm just taking my IBD No Cleanse Gel Top Coat and I'm making sure I go around the stones, not on them. Um, if you get it on the stones, it's okay. I mean, it doesn't really dull the stones too much. I mean, they'll still be a little bit shiny, but if you can, try to go around the stones. And then after I cured my nails for 30 seconds, I'm going to massage some cuticle oil because your nails are going to be dry afterwards. And once I'm done massaging in the cuticle oil, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys like my nail tutorials. You know, they're fun to do. I started out as just a hobby, but now I really want to like take it to the next level and, you know, kind of up my game a little bit and keep learning some more and eventually do nails on other people. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Comment below what you'd like to see next. And I will see you guys again next time in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Peace out. Bye-bye.